Hey guys, it's your boy Papa TQ, and guess what? What are we talking about today? Could it be related to, uh, you know, possibly people freaking out about something stupid on the internet pertaining to Japanese stuff? Y yeah, more than likely, yeah. And, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, today I saw this article on Facebook and I knew I had to make a video about this just because I knew this would be a polarizing topic for new people coming in and, uh, you know, current people like Gaijin that are living in Japan right now. And it's an article by the Japan Times and it says, The U.S. Embassy in Tokyo said that the incidents of foreign residents being stopped and searched by Japanese police were suspected to be, quote, racial profiling incidents, end quote. I found some funny comments that were like replying to this article on Facebook so I'm just gonna read a couple to you and uh, give my opinion so uh, yeah here we go Japanese police are racist without any doubt them hey you round eye me I swear they are just gummies from Colorado dot 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 <laughs> <laughs> I got that joke. He's talking about weed gummies, right? They don't do this in the US? Question <laughs> mark. Luckily, the police in the US never engage in racial profiling. Dot dot dot. Oh, I love it. These comments are so good. I got pulled over because I was white in a small town. They made no excuses. Oh, like the the cops act. Okay, wow. The cops actually. Yeah, cops just told him straight up. Ha 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 ha. Do you know now? They are all discriminators. Okay. The Japanese police have been doing this for decades. Another cheap stunt by the US Embassy. Yeah, I guess why would the embassy want to make this article like a thing? I don't know. It makes me question. What is the point of this article? Yeah, there's racial profiling in the US, but at least there they don't sweep the discussion and debate of racism and racial racial profiling under the rug and pretend that it isn't there. Ha ha ha. What are you talking about? Most Japanese don't even know racism and discrimination exists here and think disliking the Chinese as usual conversation. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, when you have a country that is uh, mostly Japanese, they, they probably know discrimination among their groups, but uh, yeah, it's not really a discussion here. Police are not just racist with the US citizens in Japan, they are racist with all the foreigners, Gai Kokujin living here. Japanese police just increase their prospects to white people as well now. Brown kids as myself being stopped in roads by police for years now. Yup, the darker, the higher the odds. Racism. Racism in Japan. Wow, compared the police in USA and the other country, doesn't make it right. I don't get why anyone would be surprised by this, dot dot dot. Are police in the US doing better than police in Japan? How many people were killed by the police in both countries? Hey, that, hey, that's a good point. You know, I you know I bet Japan sweeps a lot of those statistics under the rug, but probably when you talk about population-wise, Japan probably has way less deaths by police than uh, America. I, I'm definitely right. So true. I have been always being stopped and asked for IDs four times already since I first came to Japan four years ago. Okay. Wow, in one hand we have the USA that is harvesting the benefits of being multicultural nation and here we have Japan who in Asia have the reputation of country of people struggling to become multicultural. What? We're guests in Japan. If we don't like it, we don't have to be here. Workers and longtime residents are not guests. Also, Japanese mixed blood. Yes and no. Everything has a limit. I rather prefer to be profiled out there than in the US, lol. It's only gaijin that commit crimes. I thought this was common knowledge. This is pathetic. US should look at their own hardened and first and their unscrupulous police racial profiling before looking at someone else's garden. It's only gaijin that commit crimes. I thought this was common knowledge. As far as I know, when in Japan, you have to carry with you all needed documentation because police can stop you and ask you about your status. I lived there for more than a year and I have never been stopped and when I lost my suika, they were too kind with me and I was surprised. You are guests in Japan. Why don't you respect and follow this country's traditions? Ah, great attitude. If the police stop you and search you, it's not obvious racial profiling. It's because you must be doing something wrong. Always assume the police are right. Getting searched and tossed in jail for absolutely no reason is a Japanese tradition. LOL. <laughs> oh man, I love, I, I want to meet these people. I want to meet them in person. This is just too fun. America does this so much and it's normal now. Why don't the US Embassy point that fact out first? 
They do, and if they are caught, they get in trouble. That's why cops have body cameras now. Why would the U.S. Embassy in Japan do that? That's not their job. Their job is to point that out in Japan, baka. Ugh, ugh, eh, eh. I don't know, just that, that last, ugh. I just gotta brush off that cringe a little bit. <laughs> this has been going on for years. Cheek of the U.S. hypocrites. No country is perfect, even Japan. Detained and interrogated for hours in 2003 by Japanese police by walking during the days while being gaijin. Released without charges or paperwork. This is normal. Visit Japan and expect it. Only a fool expects equal rights outside of their own country. When you're in condition to accept it and not fight, you say things like that. Been there a couple times. Just like crime, I barely see the police there. Lovely, peaceful country. The government and police are pretty xenophobic in a way they conduct business. It's always been like that. I don't see it changing anytime soon. U.S. Embassy should look at their own police officers. Japanese police officers do their job properly and treat everyone kindly, while U.S. police are the opposite. Uh, the U.S. police doesn't have police officers if you are talking about, question mark. Why would the U.S. Embassy investigate police officers in another country, lol? Japan police nowadays flying in the sky. They bother foreigners even though they work hard and live legally in Japan. I suspect if anyone who doesn't look 100% Japanese, I was stopped and interrogated at least two times in the last year, never in the five years before that. I'm a U.S. citizen and I agree with this message. <laughs> I'm U.S. citizen. <laughs> And I'm not just a client, I'm also a member. I've witnessed firsthand gangs of police checking every obvious foreigner on the street in Roppongi, whilst Japanese people walk by unmolested. Unmolested? Well, Roppongi for sure. Gangs of police is funny, since I never see in Europe, and probably in USA too, policemen so calm and not aggressive. Being in Japan for almost 16 years, I have no hesitation to say that they're racist without a doubt. Black and brown peoples are prime target comparing to others. Although they've every right to questioning us foreigners, and even their own citizens, to protecting their own country, my main concern is the manner of their questioning, which has really pissed me off. The problem is that Japanese people aren't protecting their own country. They're useless and incompetent. A police officer in Kyoto was the only reason a taxi took us to where we needed to go after the train stop. I remember living in Japan and someone stole my bike and when the police came I was told to apologize by the end. Definitely foreigner profiling happening. Yeah, I get stopped and searched at the entrance and exits of train stations sometimes and they always ask if I'm carrying anything sharp. They say it's not racial profiling, but what else is it? Why so consistently? I was carrying a suitcase every time. They probably stop you if you look like a traveler. I did what they said, but I'm going to refuse having my stuff searched next time. I am Indian brown and I have lived in central Tokyo for six years. Japanese police never asked me for my ID. I do not buy that. I'm going in anyway. Hey, what's up guys? But today we're gonna open up some cards. Hey, anyway guys, that's it for the video today. Uh, my opinion is simple. I think the racial profiling is good. I've gotten stopped multiple times and I don't really mind it. Uh, like even, you know, there are times where I was going to work and I was late, but I've never met a company that was like, oh, you were late because you're racial pro like racially profiled? Oh, bad boy, bad foreigner. Um, they've all been pretty understanding. And, you know, you see all these other countries where terrorist attacks happen. You saw that temple blow up in fucking Taiwan. Or no, Thailand. You know, you have all these other things happening around the world. And, uh, you know, I think it's good that, uh, you know, in a country where foreigners could possibly do something, I don't really mind that the police are keeping tabs on us and asking us stupid questions if it keeps the country safe. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's my opinion. What do you guys think about it? Put down in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe bell and subscribe button to get notified next time a video of mine comes out. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to go check out the video I did on the Twitter uh, topic last week. I'll put that in the link uh, up here or at the end. So. Yeah, anyway guys, I'm Papa Tico. Thanks for watching. Stay black, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, buddy!
It's time you bit the bullet and started caring about something with all your heart and energy. But you can't care about it if you're always holding yourself back in case it doesn't work out.